guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mr. Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Okay, so I am back with a Diamond Art Club sneak peek. And, okay, so to give you slight little clue as to what I have before I open it, I have on what I call my beachy nails. They're, they're beach themed. I, I wanted to make sure I said that and it doesn't sound like it came out as something bad. So, beach nails. So, kind of think to the sneak peeks that you've been seeing on Instagram and on Facebook. And you might know which one that I have. I will go ahead and tell you this is a round. You can tell from the circle right here and the fact that it has the pink stripe right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Lay it out and get ready to show you. I am back. I am back. Okay, so I've got it kind of laying out, laying out flat. So, uh, one thing I want to mention that this, oh my gosh, I love the feel of Diamond Art Club's back of the canvas. I know, I know it's kind of strange because of the fact that, like, you know, nobody sees the back of the canvas except you, but you know what? Mine, it's nice to have something a little soft to work on while we're working on it, right? Okay, so this is everything that comes inside. You get a toolkit, you get a pamphlet, a big sticker sheet, a little sticker sheet, your drills, and your canvas. So I will go ahead and show you, like, this um, is the image that I have, which is called Shell Basket by Susan Winget. Now, I'll show you the dimensions and everything in a minute. This is a handy little sticker. I love this one because I put all of my canvases, when I unbox them, I put them back inside the box. And that's just because I want everything kept together. But, you know, I don't want to have to keep turning over all these boxes to try to find which one it is. So, I put this on the side of my box so that I can keep it. But, you know, you can use it for... Um, if you want to do that, if you want to stick it on your logbook, it's whatever you want to put it on, that is what you can put it on. Okay, so before we get into the rest of this, I do want to look at the toolkit. Now, this is a round toolkit, and so what that means is that it's going to have everything that a square has with one exception. There won't be the stabby McStabbers and tweezers because it's a round. Tweezers only come with your squares okay so what you get is you get a bag of baggies you get a pin and a squishy which the squishy goes on the pin and oh my gosh it worked and look i got blue that is so pretty so i got a blue you get um two uh multi placers you get a seven thin placer and a thin four placer i love that four placer you get a white tray that does have a stopper. If you didn't know, it does have a stopper here so that you can keep it from the drills going everywhere. Um, you get a caddy of wax that has two heart-shaped wax. Just make sure, guys, that when you are doing this, these do have a plastic on them. Just take the plastic off or else you're not going to get any wax in your pen. And then you're going to wonder, why are these drills not picking up? Um... Now, here's what is unique to each one. You get a roll of washi tape that has a decent amount of washi tape on it, but the design is different every time. Um, every person's is different. So, I have this really, I have not had this one before. It's really pretty. This one almost gives me like Christmassy vibes, right? So, I may save that for my Christmas stash. And you get a cover minder. And I have not, I have not had this cover minder. Oh my gosh. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Like it looks like a a little, I don't know. Like it's got like a little heart right there in the, the center. That is so pretty. All right. So I absolutely, absolutely love the toolkits. Um, because, you know, it's just, it's just something, it's nice to have a, a small little surprise. Like you know what everything else that you're getting. So it's nice to have a, like a little, little surprise surprise. Um, and like I said, it does come with a uh, pamphlet. And the pamphlet tells you what all is included in your kit. It does give you a discount code, tips and tricks. You have a, a QR code here that if you are new to diamond painting and you would like to see a video on how to do it, they have this here specifically for you. They also have step-by-step -step instructions. And once you have uh, bought from Diamond Up Club, you can join their VIP Facebook group, which has amazing, amazing people in it. Now, 
I mentioned that there's a discount code on here because Diamond Art Club never wants you to pay full price for any canvas that you get. So if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, they I do have a code and I'm going to put it right here for you. And it is called Mysteria 10. That will get you $10, $10 y'all, off of your very first Diamond Art Club purchase. After that, you have multiple ways to have codes. You have a code inside of your pamphlet. You have a code on your shipping label. There is a code on the bottom of your canvas. And there is a QR code here on your box, most boxes, that have a discount code. And then, of course, if you're in the VIP Facebook group, they tell you all about cool things that are upcoming and everything. And Diamond Art Club is always doing some pretty cool uh, sales that... They get me sometimes. They get me sometimes. All right. So this is a bigger picture of the painting that I am going to be unboxing. Shell Basket by Susan Wingat. It is a 76 by 42.6. Um, and it is a round. It has 46 colors. Now, um, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit and get us a little bit closer in just a minute. But I just want to explain that with Diamond Art Club, if this number right here is underneath the number 150, it is an AB. So you see, we only have one AB, 140. And 140 is a blue. I'm used to one. Uh, oh, it's 141. So, so we have 140 that is a blue. But if it has special drills, they are going to place them here at the end. And this one has Z155 and Z3854. Now, I know because I looked on the post on Instagram that these are fairy dust diamonds. And y'all, let me just say, I have not, I have not gotten to see fairy dust diamonds in person. I have not opened up any of my boxes yet that have fairy dust diamonds. So y'all are going to see my very first reaction. Um... Yeah, if, if I squeal, I will go back in editing and tell y'all to to prepare yourself um, because I have no, I, no, blah, 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 no idea how excited that I'm going to get. All right, so let me put this up and then we will look at this canvas. Are you ready to see the beach? I am. I, granted, I live at the beach, so here we go. Oh, Wow. Y'all, look at this. Oh, wow. Like, I, yep, yep. This, I live here in Florida. And so, in Florida, we have beautiful white sandy beaches. Um, now, granted, I wish I could find a seashell that looks this gorgeous. And I wish, just for once, I could find a starfish that was not broken. Um, or a sea dollar. I want an intact sea dollar. But... I have to go to the souvenir shops because looking on the beach, I never can find an intact sea dollar. Um, I can find, I find these shells a lot too. Usually they still have their little, uh, their little snail inhabitants inside of them uh, or the little mollusks in there. So uh, yeah, I usually have to be careful, but look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. So like I said, it is a 76 by 42.6. So as you can see, like, yeah, it's, you know, it's a decent lengthwise, but like this right here would honestly be really perfect for a living room. One of those nice rectangular uh, frames. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, also, with the canvas, you have what is called scalloped and surged edges, this this wavy part right here. And their canvases are what's called sparkle canvases, which when you have a round, really is awesome. Their glue is always, always sticky, and they're drill filled. Oh, y'all, y'all, let me just tell you, their drill filled is always super, super clear like you don't need a light pad to work on one of these now me i am i'm I, I love my light pad hence why i'm always uh using it doesn't matter what i'm looking at all right so oh, okay i can't wait i got to get into these drills so i'm going to turn this over we're going to get down closer to it we're going to look at these drills all right i am super excited to look at these drills. i mean just look at these pretty colors right here right that y'all oh, are so beachified they're beachified 
All right, so uh, one thing I love about Diamond Art Club is they do put the name of the kit on your drills so that if you are one, that you don't store yours back in your box. Maybe you hang yours up in a closet or on one of those um, blueprint things. Um, it doesn't matter where you put it, but if you do store them and you store your drills in a separate location, this way you could just look through your drills and find the name of your kit. No harm, no foul. No trying to guess what drills that they are. Okay. So, y'all ready to go down to Crinkle Town? Let's go down to Crinkle Town. Ooh, gotta see my first fairy dust. First fairy dust. Okay. Okay. Y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of unwind them. Now, before I start going through these drills, let me give you the traditional warning. I have started doing something on my channel where I go into chipmunk mode, where it speeds up me going through the drills, but I say it's chipmunk mode because it turns my voice into a chipmunk, like Alvin and the chipmunks. Um, and so I will be putting, when uh, chipmunk mode starts, I will put a little chipmunk on the screen that will show you that chipmunk mode has started. And if you are one that doesn't like chipmunk mode, then you can actually skim all the way. You know, you can kind of fast forward through till you see the chipmunk uh, picture again, because that means chipmunk mode is off. Okay, so if you are not one that likes to um, hear the chipmunk mode, uh, you can always mute also um, and watch the colors. Uh, but once again, when you see the second chipmunk, you will know that chipmunk mode is over. All right, so are y'all ready to get into these drills? I am, I am. So chipmunk mode is activated. All right, so we have, so these just kind of came separate. We have three, three, four, six, and so, okay, okay, this is Z. So this is the very first fairy drill. Oh, Z3854, and there's a decent amount of them. And I don't know if my camera will show this, but oh my, it's glittery in there. But I was told it's not glitter, it's a mica powder. Like, oh my, like you, you want to give new meaning to sparkle? <gasps> they were, you know, it's, it's not like it wasn't enough to just say, let's give this, let's give them ABs. No, 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 let's give them sparkle. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I love them. Okay, I can't wait to see the other one. So that's a, that's a decent amount. I can't wait to see where those actually go. All right. So now let's get this next, this next bag. No, no, um, um, woo! I'm all which way but loose. So we have 452, 775, 3371, 3756. We have two of those. It's a very pretty blue. 3072, 3865. There are two of those, which is a pretty whitish color. Um, 976, 3347, 301. We have 898. 3841, 3826, 469, 368, 762, 644, 3861, 3776. So those are our big, that's our big train. And now let's, let's, let's go to medium train. So medium train is a little bit smaller. 3864, 3781, 3325, 519, 327. Oh, here is our second fairy dust drill. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, okay. I want y'all to, I'm really hoping that y'all can look at that. Can y'all see that shimmer right there on that? Look at that fairy dust. Oh my. Ooh. And I love purple. I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors. So this is going to be so much fun to work with. Okay, so that's also a decent number of fairy dust. All right, let's go to the baby train. Baby train. So we haven't seen our AB yet. 451, 3790, 904, 799. Okay, here is our one AB that, that has a purple drill hanging out with it. Um, probably from over here. So, what is AB? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And what it means is it has this iridescent coating that as you see the light hits it, it actually changes colors. You can get like a little a little purple, a little uh, gold, you know, pinkish, all these different pretty colors, and it just makes everything really shine. So, I love AB. Then you have 208, 38, 36, 37, 87, 613, 400. Ooh, that's a pretty one. 37, 65, 739, 3852, 738, 550, 890, 779, 336, 3856, and 720. All right. So let me put these up and we will turn them over and find out where do these go on this canvas. So where exactly are, is the AB and the two fairy dust diamonds? Okay. So um, taking a look at this, the fairy dust diamonds are this these little two dots together. And so we have them, they're going here. They're going basically throughout these um, orangish, brownish uh, plants. And so you have some here, here. They're just like kind of dotted in areas that are going right through here. Um, and you know, even on the bottom here, 
within this frond and this frond. There's little ones here going here in the string um, that ties this bow. There's some going here. There's a tiny bit going um, in the basket a little bit, but not as much as there is going through. Um, so all of these brown brownish orangish fronds are going to have that brownish fairy dust i'm just kind of showing you all, i'm like all of these now this one doesn't here it does here once again in the handle of the basket and in the basket itself there's really only like just little highlights here and right here and around the um the around the ribbon or I don't know if it's necessarily a ribbon it's probably jute um, but around here now the oh y'all I got so excited when I saw this when I'm looking at this and looking at this canvas the purple fairy dust and I have to admit I looked for the purple fairy dust first <laughs> um, in here there's this this coloration right here these are all patches of that purple fairy dust. Also on this shell, you have a line of fairy dust going around this shell like here. So you also have the fairy dust, um, let's see, where's, in this one, I'm looking for it. Yep, you got fairy dust sprinkled in this one, you know, all these little spots. And in this one, so there's four places there's four places where we have these purple set of flowers, and there are fairy dust in each of those four locations. So now that leaves us with our number one, our blue AB. We have the blue AB going in the water. There is a little bit going right here. We also have partial, because like they have like a like a purplish blue then you have that a b purplish blue a b so and then it goes straight a b here you have a little bit in this band you have this band is a b band um you've got some more going right here and then a little bit right here there actually is a little bit of a b's in this purple flower right here in this little spot so that's kind of neat all right we have uh, part blue ABs go in here. I almost called them purple. Right here for this is that water's edge here. There's more right here. Um, you have some more going right here. This section right here, here, here. All of these. You've got these little these little water lines, and then you also have it going right here, here, here. So there is basically. There's not a ton of this canvas that there's not something special in it. I mean, wow, this one, I can tell you right now, this shell is going to be probably one of my favorites. Even though I love what's, what I consider, I don't know what the actual name of this shell is, but like it has like a, I don't know, like a little zebra-ish print or I don't know, not maybe not zebra, but it. I don't know. I just I I do think it's pretty, but this right here, this one is probably going to be my favorite shell. And I do love how that they got the beautiful dimension on your sand dollar here. So oh my gosh, y'all! Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Just look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, anybody ready for summer? Because this right here, this is for sure a summer painting one to get you in the mood or maybe you live someplace where you don't get a lot of beaches this would be perfect and you can just you know you can put it up kind of like a little window right a little, a little beach window all right so um that's all i have for you i really hope that you have enjoyed this first look this sneak peek of what is coming out um and i did i got so excited about those fairy dust diamonds i forgot to tell you but i'm Editing me is making sure that I go back and at the beginning I put down the the day uh, the times and everything for the releases. I just kind of got a little excited when I was filming, um, and I don't want to refilm everything. So uh, I'll also state the times here again. 
Um, so this is being released this Saturday. And if you're Diamond and Ruby members, you will get access at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then um, Easter Standard Time, you get 12 p.m. Then 30 minutes later, the general release will get an opportunity to... Uh, get this get their hands on this gorgeous canvas and you will get that at 9 30 pacific standard time and 12 30 eastern standard time look look my nails match the the water here it's kind of why I, that's why i call them my beach nails <laughs> sorry I, I got distracted for a second so i really hope you know if if you like Susan Wingat, which she just has absolutely beautiful, beautiful artwork, this is definitely one that I can see displayed at a lot of people's houses. You don't have to have a beach house or a condo or anything like that if you just enjoy the beach. And I do enjoy the beach. I do live here at the beach. I just don't go when there's a lot of tourists uh, down to the beach. <laughs> um, but I obviously do love the beach and I do love living here with the beach. So... You know, if you are one that would like to have just a little summer fun, summer fun, make you feel like you're at the beach just for a little bit, then you need to hop on there and purchase this um, because it is just, it's gorgeous, y'all. And those fairy dust, they got me. They got me. The fairy dust got me. All right. Well, that's all that I have for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up and um because it really does help the channel and if you haven't subscribed i would love for you to subscribe just make sure that you hit that bell icon for all notifications that way you know anytime that i upload a video or anytime i go live i would love to hang out and chat with you guys all right so diamond art club thank you so 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 much for sending this to me to show everybody i am eternally grateful i love you guys so much and susan wingat thank you so much for creating absolutely breathtaking work all right, I'm going to leave you like I always do. Reach for the stars, grab hold, hold on, and never let go. Until my next video, bye guys.